afternoon again. This is Benjamin Ship. This recording will cover adding quick toolbar options for figures, equations, and tables in Microsoft Word. Continuing from where I left off, if I would like a way to quickly enter a figure or an equation, I have options to make quick entries. Here's a example of a figure. Likewise, here's an example of an equation. E equals MC squared. Equation number one and figure number one, as well as options for entering tables. So to cover how to build these useful tools, I will show you. To start, we're going to build Go to insert table. Let's do a two by one. Now, this one is going to be for equations, correction, for figures. So, for figures, we're going to right click on the table plus sign, the options button. Go insert caption. This we want to be a figure so we can select the drop down menu and if you notice you'll have one that says figure but you won't have one that says fig dot so to do that we're going to create new label fig dot and you're going to hit ok i already had it so it doesn't really update anything then you're going to hit ok and it's going to go below it. We can highlight, we can drag it in. Now I need to delete this extra row. If I click and drag down and highlight both rows and I hit control E, that's going to center everything. Then if I left click the option button, I can click the center table. Next, I'm going to right click the option button, go to table properties, make sure they're centered and none, come to options. Here you can change margins to zero for left and right. Hit OK. Now you have a preset table correction figure block where you can enter an image. For example, if I said insert from this device and I can go to a image that I would like inserted, click insert. Here's my image. All I have to do is left click, drag, highlight all of it or right click the box, the option, come over here to the uh, box highlight and click no border. At this point, I have my image with the title that I can type in here. This is a picture of stuff. There we go. Now let's say I want to save this as a default option so I don't have to go through the menu go through the options of creating this every single time. I'm going to undo the name. I'm going to undo entering the image and I'm going to go back and turn off the borders. I like mine on by default so that I can see where I'm clicking and then once I have everything put in then I can turn them off when I'm ready but I'll turn the borders off for now and we're going to click the option menu and go to insert quick parts and you can select save selection 
to Quick Park Gallery. Here you give it a name. AIAA. And this is fig for figure. Hit OK. Now, sometime later, I need to put a new figure in. I can simply insert quick parts and click figure. As you can see, it put in a new table where I can put a picture in. Since I can't see the outline, that is why I prefer keeping my borders on by default. And then when I'm ready to, once I have the image and everything formatted, then I turn them off so I can see it better. Now, we can do the same thing for equations. So we're going to go to a table. Table. This time we want a one by two. <clears throat> we're going to right click the option button, insert caption. This time we want equation. Got equation. And doesn't matter. Hit OK. All right. So we're going to do open parenthesis. We're going to click and highlight. We're going to drag highlight just the one. We're going to drag this in. And we're going to close parenthesis. Then we can come over here, right click table properties, center options. Let's set this to zero again. OK. OK. I can highlight both blocks, hit control E for centering. I can also right click and make sure it's centered still. Now I'm going to grab the divider between the two cells. I'm going to drag this all the way over until it stops. There we go. Click in this left block. If you do Alt and the plus key or Alt and the equal key, that's the quick command for bringing up an equation. At this point, just need to select the table and take off the borders. There we go. And there is our default equation block. So we can select it. And again, go to insert, quick parts, save selection. And you can save it as equations or AIAA equations, however you would like it. <clears throat> now, in order to get this quick bar option up here, I want to insert quick parts. If you right click the button, you have the option to add to quick access toolbar. I've already added it, so it's grayed out. But that's how you can put stuff up there. Uh, oftentimes, I'll do things like drawing canvas, which I have a quick button on my tablet for when I write down homework. Last one to do is a table, which is similar in style. You can do two by one, and we can go right click, insert caption. This time it will be table. And we want Roman numeral tables for AIAA, so you can click numbering and you have the option to select what you want. One, two, three, ABC or Roman numerals. Say OK. And we want tables to be labeled from above. Hit OK. Click and drag. This is going to, for some reason, take the bold off for some reason. So you'll have to rebold it like that. We can center it, drag and select all of it, center, right click, 
make sure the table itself is center. We still have to go through and edit the properties, options, zero, zero, center, okay. Now we have the format for our table already set up. We can go in and do like we did before, turn off the borders. There is special formatting for borders for AIAA format. That's going to include. I'll show you in a little bit. So we have our option here. We're going to select it. And we can go to save selection to quick park gallery, type in a table, whatever you want to call it. And then you'll have these as options in the future. So now that we went through and we made our table, my table, my first figure, this is my second figure. Now in my paper, I decide, hey, I want to reference my second figure from here. So I say something about my figure and I want to put it in. I can go to references, go to cross reference. Here I have the option to select what kind of thing I want to um, referencing. So I want figure. So this is going to look for all things titled fig. And I want label and number. And now you can see here, it goes through, searches the paper for everything with a fig title. And so I'm going to reference my second one first. So I hit insert, and now here's my reference. Now let's say, go through, and I decide I want to put another image in here. So I'm going to say, okay, you know, I forgot I needed to add this other picture. So you can see I have figure two, I have figure two. Here is my new fig two. Okay, and now what I need to do to get everything to update, I'm gonna hit Control A and I'm gonna hit F9. And you can see it says figure one, fig two, fig three. Also, fig three is now updated in this initial reference that was to figure two, it's now to figure three. It's a great way to save yourself the hassle and time of trying to order and organize and keep track of where all of your references are in your paper for anything from actual references here to figures, tables, etc., equations. So now I decide need to put in a new equation and the same thing will happen. Here is B equals A and A equals C. You can see I have two equation ones. I hit Let's, uh, let's put a reference in here real quick. This one's going to be for an equation. All right, equation. Now you can see it hasn't updated, but right now let's reference this B equals A. And all we'll know it by is the number one. So we'll hit insert. Okay, so there's my reference to an equation. In AIA format, I have to say EQ. Equation one, <clears throat> so 
So there's my equation one reference. Now when I hit control A, F9, you'll see that it's auto updated one and two. And so it'll go through every time you do control A, F9, it'll update, re, uh, renumber everything you have. And this is how you can create quick little handy tools and usefulness for all of the figures, tables, and equations you'll need to do for your papers. I hope this has been helpful. Have a good day.